so we showed you a little bit about where mushrooms come from. Now I'm going to show you what to do with these things. So I love these mushrooms, the oyster mushrooms, because they literally taste like nothing. They taste like nothing. They're like the Seinfeld of mushrooms. <laughs> I love that because you can do whatever you want with them. They are truly a blank canvas. So whatever flavor you want them to pick up, they're going to pick it up. I've already chopped them up, but I wanted to show you just a little bit about like um, Knife Skills 101 because a lot of people, I see them cutting things and I just want to jump in there and, and try to grab them and stop them because I know they're going to hurt themselves. So see how this is kind of like rolly? Anytime that you're cutting anything that's round or that can roll or that can like move out from away from you, you want to cut it and make it flat so that it can't roll, okay? So this now is a much safer way for me to deal with my produce here. Now, it's not gonna roll anywhere. See what I mean? So now, I just cut it in half, and when you go to chop, you do this, and it's stable, and you're not gonna roll and cut your fingers, okay? So that's just a little something to share with you. Put that over there. And in the meantime, we have a bunch of these mushrooms already chopped up. I have a nice hot pan, and when I start this dish, I'm gonna start it with just about the same way I start all of my dishes, and that's with the gospel. Garlic, oil, salt, pepper, and love. All right, so I'm taking my mushrooms, throwing them on in here. Now generally when you cook mushrooms, you cook them in a dry pan. The water's gonna get pulled out of them, so you want it to be really nice and hot. Now, because I'm lazy, and I want this to go quickly, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait so much. I'm gonna put some more oil in them and get them seasoned. Now I came up with this recipe, actually, like when I was running out the door, I had these mushrooms, I needed to cook them before I went on vacation. And so I just like threw them in the pan and just kind of created this. But part of the thing is I'm not using like really intense uh, kinds of seasonings and stuff that takes a long time. I want this to go fast and easy. So I'm just pouring, now this is avocado oil. I like to cook with avocado oil a lot because it has a very high smoke point. You can't damage the oil. So just gonna saut, you know, move that around a little bit. Now that oil is gonna be there and it's gonna hold the flavors that you put on there. So there's my oil. Here's my garlic. I'm using garlic powder because again, I wanna be fast. I had to catch a plane. I need to cook these things. So I wasn't gonna wait around for garlic to, you know, saute and all that. Okay, got our salt. And it's, again, it's just like a, a, a pinch. Salt, pepper, and love. Now, the kind of cool thing about these, these mushrooms is that when you season them correctly, they can kind of take on the taste of chicken because they're nice and light and you can kind of season them with whatever flavor you want. So because I kind of want to imitate chicken a little bit, I'm going to put seasonings on here that I would use normally with chicken seasonings. So that's going to be like thyme and rosemary. And those things are going to help these to take on a chicken-like texture and flavor. So right here, I've just got some dried thyme and some dried rosemary. And I'm going to be generous about, about that. Put it on there. Yum! That smells like roasted chicken. So now we're just gonna let that cook down for a few minutes. We wanna make sure that the flavors really get in there. Okay, so the next step is to make our cream sauce. And we're going to use cashews to do that. There is no reason in this world that if you don't wanna eat dairy, that you have to eat dairy. I can make cream sauces out of just about anything. I like to use almonds, uh, blanched almonds, and also cashews. They seem to be the easiest, they're most easy to obtain, and usually they're on the low price end too. So we're just gonna take the nuts, put them right in the blender. Now some people soak their nuts. I didn't soak these. Again, this recipe was made in like 10 minutes because I was flying out the door to go to the airport. Just do that, and then we've got some almond milk. If you don't have almond milk, you can use water. Just gonna pour that in there. Simple, simple, simple. The thing is we've got so much flavor in our mushrooms that I'm not even gonna season this. Generally I would put a lot of seasonings in this to give it a flavor, but we've got our flavor in the mushrooms. So all we need to do is just blend these guys up. Okay, 
So we've got our cream sauce. There is no need in the world to ever use dairy. You can always make creamy sauces out of nuts. Just gonna pour that on there. Look at that. It's so creamy. So we're just gonna mix that together. Let it cook a little bit. Now if it looks a little thick to you, add a little bit more almond milk, add a little bit more water. Okay. Then here's the real kicker here, Marsala wine sauce. This is what's really gonna give it the richness and really like send it over the top. And I love it, so I put a lot. Some people like just a little bit, I'm like dumping it in there. The wine sauce gives you that umami flavor. So it's like that, that sort of, um, ooh, sorry about that. Gives you that sort of like that fermented taste like you would if you had like a fermented cheese or something. So whereas there's no cheese in this, the wine is gonna help to give it that sort of like tang, that parmesan -y kind of taste. And then to really finish it off and make us look like we're kind of like snooty, we're going to put some fresh tarragon in there. Now if you don't have fresh tarragon, you can absolutely use the dried kind, but see, when you're using fresh herbs, you wait till the end to throw them in. If you're using dry herbs, you can throw them in in the beginning because the oils are gonna, like, kind of, they're going to, uh, you know, kind of diffuse out into the dish. But if you have something fresh, you don't want to overcook it, so you just throw it in at the very last minute. Okay, so that's really thick. I'm just gonna add some more. Now, like I'm always telling you, always, 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 you have to taste your food. You have to taste it as you're going along. That's going to get you to where you want to be. If there's too, too little salt, put some more salt. If you want some more wine sauce, put some more wine sauce. But you have to taste it as you're going. Definitely needs more salt. Okay, so now we're ready for our pasta. Whenever you're cooking pasta with sauce, you want to cook your sauce first, then add your pasta, and then saute it all together. Yum. Now tarragon, not everybody, not everybody likes tarragon. It kind of tastes a little like licorice. It's a really kind of, um, almost like exotic taste. I love it. We're all finished, let's plate it up. Now you're aware, so go and share. 